wonder where the family went or what ever happened. I couldn't really find evidence about that at all. These chairs and couches are extremely nice. Hmm, interesting. Less sold for $92,000. <laughs> the insides of these houses are nice. amazing abandoned mansion right now but it's not your ordinary abandoned mansion the style of architecture here is pretty unique it's called antebellum uh, this is my first antebellum style abandoned mansion and you'll find these type of abandoned mansions down south so yeah this room alone is pretty spectacular i mean i almost feel like i'm in europe we got even a painting left behind on a frame so there's still a decent amount of stuff left behind but you know this video is going to be mostly be focused on its architecture and how unique the rooms are. Wait until I show you guys the downstairs too. Like the stairway is incredible. I would love to live in this type of mansion. And it's pretty big too. This place might take a couple hours to fully film. But yeah, there's not really much history on the place. All I know is that this place was built around the late 1800s and it got abandoned around like the 1990s. And that's all I know so far. But throughout this video, I'll give more details and more history on it and maybe we can uncover more things about it. So yeah, let's begin that adventure. But before we do, smash that thumbs up button. Anyway, we're starting from the top and working ourselves down to the bottom floors. Um, a lot of the topper floors here are bedrooms. Uh, each with their own unique design and color. This is the blue room. Blue is one of my favorite colors, guys. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite color is. But I'm in love with this room specifically. Like this thing is like super beautiful. <laughs> we might have hit the best bedroom at the very start. But I'm really digging this fireplace as well. I mean, look at it, guys. I even like the design right here. Wow, look at this. I love the light switch. And this is so far the only frame photo I've seen. It looks like a piece of art because there's even a signature right there in the bottom right corner. I might look up the artist later and see who it is. This could be like a very famous painting for all I know. And it's just left here running away. You got your little closet right here. Okay, I just heard a weird banging noise. Is there an animal? Could be, but I'm not gonna lie, the paint looks brand spanking new. But then you look at this right here, just like so much dust and dirt that you know that this place is abandoned. And then once you walk out of the bedroom, you immediately come to like this huge hallway. Even has the chandelier still here. So yeah, we're gonna check out each bedroom. There's like two on each side. There's one there, two over here. And we just did this one right here. And here's some more decay to show you guys because I know a lot of you guys will probably think like, oh, this place is not banned, it can't be. Like look, there's so much feces everywhere. Looks like some type of bird can be living in here. And one of my friends actually said that they, he saw an animal just run across the corner of the room. So it's probably hiding somewhere. Oh, what the heck? Weird, that thing just moved, so it could be hiding in there. So we just checked out that room. Let's go to the one across from us. I love how each room just feels so different because of the colors. Like this one has like a dark vibe to it. Yet again, you got the light switches having like this weird template or I don't even know what to call it. Some plate all around it. 
But here's something else that I've been noticing too. It's like the outlets have it as well. So that's a little pretty neat and cool little design. Anyway guys, if you've been enjoying the video so far, please smash that like button. It helps the algorithm a lot and helps promote the video a lot more to my viewers. So yeah, really quick, smash that thumbs up button. I also hope you guys have been enjoying the trip so far. This is part of my trip in Alabama and we explored during the weekend. But I'm gonna be down here for a little bit more and who knows what's gonna happen. I'm just going with the flow right now, but I'm hoping to hit different part of the states down south. But let me know down in the comments if you guys know anything and want me to check anything out. Oh, what? We still got clothes left behind here. Oh, this is the closet where the animal might be like hiding in. But I'm really not seeing no animal in here. So I think we're fine. I mean, it looks like the previous owner kind of like the uh, the foxtails. Wow, these clothes look really clean. I mean, even look at this dress or nightgown. The fireplace matches really well with the color scheme in here. Curtain is still in this room. Now every room is connecting to each other, so now I'm in the next one. I'm not really into that at all. Like I love my full privacy and I don't see the reason for that, you know, especially since like you can just come out here, go to the other entrance. You found some history on this place? This house is 221 years old. It's built in 1800. What? Okay, that's why I said, that's yeah. why I speculated. Yeah, it was abandoned in 2012. Oh, do you know for what reason? It didn't say. I like, couldn't find any other history on it. You just found it online? Mm hmm Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It was last sold for $92,000. <laughs> Are you serious? That yeah. cheap? This is cheap. Dude, it's a four-bedroom mansion. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that's wild. But other than that, it's an antebellum. Um, yeah. 221-year-old house. That's insane. It's not in bad shape either. It's I feel like amount. it'd be like an easy restore. Yeah, no. For just that not amount. Not to buy the place, mm -hmm. but there's really nothing to do around here. Not really. Like, what will people do? Like, there's it's no job like, opportunities. Yeah, it's not like close to anything either. Yeah. I guess we can speculate that's probably why this place is abandoned. Is because who would want to even probably own no this place? Yeah. No yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, 221 years old. Yeah. Cool, it's man. The oldest house I've ever been in. Wow. Wow. You gotta get to Europe. I've explored some places from like the 1600s. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow, guys, I cannot believe that. This place would be a steal. I would even get it if only it was in a good neighborhood or a place with so much opportunity. But we're in the middle of nowhere right now. There's really nothing to do. It'd be really boring living in here. This one bedroom also leads to some balcony. Wow, this fireplace right here still has firewood in it. I like this a lot. And this is the only piece of furniture so far. This is probably the only thing in here is like this cabinet. I like the flowers. I feel like we can put that somewhere for a photo. Oh, this one's very bright. Kind of makes you feel happy in here because of the yellow color. You got. You got a pretty cool closet system going on. And you have a walk-in closet right here onto the next room. So I guess that would have been a walk-in closet too when we entered the other side. Windows just completely wide open. And right next to us kind of looks abandoned as well. But sometimes you can never tell down the south. Wow, I love this one a lot. Look at that. Okay. Wonder where this leads. It's a walk-in closet again. Ew, it smells like animal poop. Looks like they use this room as a fitness area. 
Now before we head down, there's this little corner of the room, which led to like the fitness room. But I think this is also just like a fire escape to the back. Oh, there's a bathroom in this corner too. That smells so bad. Oh wow, this bathroom's really nice. The toilet's really cute. Wow, this would be great for a photo. I like that on the wall. Iron tub. I kind of feel like some squatter was definitely living in here. It's like a fresh roll of toilet paper. Not to mention this room has like a bunch of clothes. It goes full circle. Heading downstairs now. The gang has uh, already left the building. I'm only with Banks. I take so much time when exploring this place, especially this thing. Like, I don't know, there's just so much detail into it. Like, I want to be able to capture it all. But, um, yeah, in case you're wondering how long it takes me to film places, it's like maybe two hours to film one spot. But, yeah, we're heading downstairs now after like an hour of filming. But this is probably the coolest stairway ever that I've hit down the south. That's what I mean. I mean, you got these little chandeliers on each side of the pillar over here. Man, this is so nice. I can't believe this is less than 100 grand. That beautiful painting right there kind of reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast almost. But wow. Just hate how like you can see some animal feces on the carpet. Yeah, guys, this is like the main hall. I'm loving the wallpaper. Everyone's taking photos of the outside now, so if you see Janet walking across the window, that's her. But yeah, this is spectacular, guys. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Banks even said this is one of his best southern homes he's ever explored. I've always wanted to see a staircase like this, like one that, you know, comes out both sides with the pillars and like, it's just, I've always wanted to see one like that, and it's just, it's meeting my expectations. Right. Besides the animal crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, besides that. Yeah. But yeah, right here was the main entrance. We got Janet over there taking some exterior shots. Looks like some mail was left behind. I'm not going to bother even looking around it. But yeah, that's wild. And look at these doors. I can't believe how big and tall they are. And they're sliding doors too. They're all on each side of the room, so if you want some privacy, you can just close them, which is really nice. I really need to get a photo of this right here. I think this is this would be the, the best photo of this mansion from this angle. Dang, and yet again, just like upstairs, every room is kind of different with the colors. Downstairs is more different with their architecture. I mean, every chimney looks way more grand and beautiful. Yeah, I'm liking this room a lot. I mean, the bottom floor is definitely way better than the second floor. These windows are huge. I love long windows like this. It brings in a lot of sunlight. If you also want to, you can exit the room from here onto the balcony. And then you can come across again to the next room. And look at this color scheme. I love this right here. I remember I explored one abandoned mansion and I called it the White House Mansion. They also had something like this. So it's cool to see that they have this somewhere in the south too. And dang, I like that mint color. Everything's just matching perfectly. I can just imagine myself sitting right here, just chilling, reading a book. And you got this curtain too to just block in the light. Ooh. It's a big beetle. It's just dead right there. Wow. I mean, this fireplace has pillars. I like that bouquet of flowers up there.
And over here, on the opposite corner, you got this room too. Looks like a nice area to lounge around. Could have been the living room. These chairs and couches are extremely nice. They're probably worth a lot too. I mean, this is like carved in. This is a pretty small living room area, I'm not gonna lie. And this chandelier, I've never seen anything like it either. It definitely wants me to just relax and maybe watch a movie in here. And again, if you want to, you can just go out from here too, onto the balcony. Wow, this has the most things. Oh, what's a bedroom? You can kind of see a glimpse of what kind of bed they probably have in here. Super nice. I like the bed frame a lot. And it's interesting to see like these curtains. They have like some Asian influence. Kind of looks like they're in Japan. You got some more documents around. And over here it kind of looks like they had like some sort of collection at one point. Because you can see some right here left behind. So strange how like they can just leave all of this behind. Wonder where the family went or what ever happened. I couldn't really find evidence about that at all. You can only like speculate. Oh wow, you got like this really vintage radio. Actually, yeah. What the heck? This is such a small kitchen. Was this the kitchen you were talking about? No, in here. Okay. It's, it's, it's weird because that's the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, there's a, a stove right there. Yeah, in the kitchen bathroom. Yeah. It's wild. Or maybe a maid would live in here. This would be like her area, her living space. But yeah, it cuts through the bathroom. Really small and tiny. Okay. Yeah. Well, these are the stairs that we saw upstairs. So it leads all the way down here to the kitchen area. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is really modern, dude. Maybe they renovated this part. Maybe it was bought like recently, not recently, but maybe a few years, like a couple years or five years ago. And they tried to fix this place up and make it more modern. Maybe. And they just gave up. It was bought in 2012. Okay. But then after that, nothing ever happened to it. Interesting. So. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they just stopped. The, the floor maybe might be, the floor might be more original. Maybe. Yeah. But still, I don't know. Uh huh. You said there's a dead bat in the sink? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nasty. Alright, refrigerator time. Here we go. It's empty. Okay. Ooh. That made a terrifying noise. <laughs> Oh, it smells. There's nothing, but it smells. That's funny. We got some chicken covers. That's very southern. <laughs> I like this countertop right here. It's like super small. U-shape. Yeah. I, w I would just hate to be in the middle. It's strange. You got a stove right there too, but here's like the main one that they would use. Yeah, it's really modern. What was that? Probably the wind? Okay, yeah, it's probably the wind. These cabinets are really nice. I like the setup a lot. 
Okay, we're almost done. We're just going to check it the outside now. Dude, there's still cell phones here or a phone. Yeah. Actually, right next to the kitchen, they probably stored all their um, things in here. Like all ingredients and stuff for cooking. And then you can walk into the dining room. It kind of looks like there used to be a table here because there's no dust in the middle. Probably got stolen. Okay guys, let's, let's check out the outside. I'm, I'm loving it. Let's go all around and walk around it. All right guys, hopefully you can hear me. It's a little bit windy, but this is how it looks like from the front. Absolutely incredible. So you can just imagine us just rolling by and just seeing this. We just had to come here and film it. Antebellum house. Hopefully I'm saying it right, but that's the style of architecture. I love how it's yellow too. Like if I would own a house or mansion, it'd be yellow. I don't know why. I just like how happy that color makes you feel. That is so good. love the pillars. I mean these are so different because you have like more detail from the top. You even got pillars on the house too a little bit. And I know we didn't come out from the we never really checked the porch from the upstairs but that's how it looks like. Yeah, we're all chilling. I think our neighbor over there is telling us history about the place. So I'll get intel later. Oh yeah, this is how the side looks too. This place still got some satellite. But yeah, even got a little garage. That's really nice. Oh, I wonder if there's like an abandoned car. Oh yeah, it's a big driveway. You can exit two ways, over there and over here. There usually is like an abandoned car left behind in the garages. Oh, wow, this one's really destroyed. Let me take a peek right here. Well, in my eyes, it doesn't look like there's much. Let me know what you guys see. But I don't think there's any car. I might just replay this footage to find out myself. So yeah, we're really almost done here. This is how the other side looks. So many ways to get inside this mansion. Honestly, it's as if you can like have four different families living in here and they each have their corner of the building to live in. See, so here's another small entrance. It's unbelievable, like every corner of this mansion is just gorgeous. We got a really friendly neighbor and he just told us so much history about it. Hey yo, in the rest of the house. Wait, yeah, it's, it's Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's his story. Mm -hmm. They want a hell of a fortune for him. Really? And still it's setting them and that folk fix them up. You can't change the structure. You can put lumber siding around it, or tin on the top. You can't change the structure. You can paint it. The insides of these houses are nice. You can do whatever you want to do to the inside, but they want a fortune for them because of his story. All this shit. Have you ever been inside that house? I done been inside of both of them, baby. Uh, <laughs> so you used to know the lady that lived there? Listen, I've been here for 31 years. Well, I've been here for 31 years. You were a baby, right, when you were there? No. I come from my home in North Carolina. I was born and raised up in New York. 
I come from 12 out of my family. I'm young as out of 12. I'm 70 years old. So tell me what you know about this house, this y'all house. Okay, you know? when I first moved here, it was a boarding house. Oh, it was a boarding house? It was a boarding house. No way. Okay. Wait, it was a boarding house, so they had like boarders in there? Yes, ma'am, they had rumors. It's a big house. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Some people out of California bought it, some black folk. One was the principal at the school here, and one was a doctor. They bought it and fixed it up. They were there for some years, and they had a home in California, and they decided to go back to California. Put it up on the market, and somebody bought it. It been about Three or four people moved in there every since. But it, they restructured it before they left. But the people that bought it, they came and stayed off and on. The people that own the house now, the woman live in Chicago. We look out for one another. Mm -hmm. And make sure nothing don't happen. If we need help, we ask one another and we look out for one another. Cool. What is your name? Charles. Charles. But everybody called me Chuck. 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 <laughs> That's what my kids call me from baby. Chuck. Chuck. And everybody know me at that name down here. Chuck. Well, Chuck, thanks for the conversation. Well, I'm telling you, if y'all want to walk around the house, walk around it. Yeah. Everybody else come and walk around it and look at it. Walk around it and look at it. I will. It's a beautiful house, yeah. Yeah. Walk around and check it out now. Awesome. We will, we will. Thanks, okay. John. All right. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. My name's Carter. Carter? Yep. And where y'all from? I'm from Oklahoma. Oklahoma? I'm from Huntsville. Yep. Huntsville? Okay. Yep. Nice meeting y'all. Go around that sucker and look at it. All right. We will. All right. <laughs> this place actually was a boarding, uh, boarding house. Okay. okay. And uh, it's had several owners since then, original owner. Um, he said lives in Chicago, the owner now lives in Chicago. And uh, her sister lives in Birmingham. Okay. They keep the, you know, the grass cut, everything, no so. Do you know, did you say why it was abandoned? No, they just don't, they're they not just, from, they don't live here. They just moved out and just probably forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if you have a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you have a lot of money, that's usually what happens, you know, you Wait, just forget whatever. Alright guys, so I'm ending the video now. Hope you guys did enjoy this a lot. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and bell. I'm gonna repeat again guys, less than 20% of you have been notified this month. So let's get that back up. We're usually around 20 to 25%. So come on guys, let's go. Unbelievable place. It was so fun chilling with the gang again. Also, do not forget to follow the guys on this trip. Their links will be down below in the description. You wanna see all of their content, make sure to follow them and subscribe. This is our last day on this little two-day road trip. We're gonna be hitting more spots after this one, so hopefully two or hopefully one or two more spots. I'll call it a day. We'll see what happens. But thank you so much, guys. I'll see you later, Rowan fam, and don't forget to live a life of freedom wander. Peace.